Hi guys, Larissa here with Mayor's Ribbon, and today I wanted to share some fun ideas um, for Father's Day. Um, I wanted to use several of um, the Mayor's Ribbon, um, one of which is our new printed twill, um, and I love this ribbon. Um, and I also wanted to share you some fun techniques that you can do to alter this ribbon. Um, so let's get started today. Um, I want to make a card, um, and this is one of the cards that I have already made that I wanted to share with you, um, a way to use our fun new ribbon. Um, I just layered it with some of the DCWB uh, paper um, and cut out all things that I thought correlated with my dad. Um, a ruler, which to me signifies a tape measure. Um, he always played cards and dominoes and games with us, and then the gears, he's a farmer, and we work works on all of his uh, implements and things like that, so, um, and then I use some of the Tim Holtz gears and a little compass, um, he's my north, east, south, and west, and then I'll put a neat sentiment on the inside, um, but the card we're going to make today um, and the little basket, we're going to be using the faux linen, um, and it's a really awesome ribbon. Um, and I wanted to share with you how to make a fun gift bag along with the card. Um, so first, we're going to work with just a regular gift bag. Um, and I thought it would be fun to use one of my EK Success punches, um, and it had these circles. Um, and this, I thought, was more of uh, masculine than some of my other punches that I have. Um, so I went ahead and punched it out of a My Mind's Eye paper um, and I thought this red with the yellow polka dot went really neat with the faux uh, turquoise ribbon. So um, how we're going to do this is I cut a 18 inch piece of faux linen ribbon that will wrap all the way around my bag um, and then I went ahead and found out that I needed a whole 12 by 12 strip plus another six inches um, in order to cover my bag. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and started um, and I decided to use brads to hold my ribbon and my trim to the bag. So I went ahead and got started so that this wouldn't take so long. Um, and you'll see here that I went ahead and punched the whole strip of paper. I didn't cut off the logo or anything. Um, and the reason I did that is just so that it could uh, layer is more easy. Um, so anyway, I'm going to add just a little bit of glue to the inside of my uh, trim piece where I'll be connecting it and lining it up with the piece that was there before. Um, and then all you're going to do is take a poker tool or I'm going to use my scissors um, and I'm just going to go right in the center and poke a small hole and then I'm going to grab my brads and uh, attach this all to the bag using a brad. Um, and again you want to make sure it's lined up with the top of your bag um, and then you're just going to poke that through and uh, attach the brad on the back side and you have an easy way to attach your trim to the bag. And I wanted to make sure that my handle was up um, so that it didn't interfere with a place for him to grab on. And so anyway, you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around the bag. So you're just gonna take your tool and poke right through the ribbon. And you could glue this if you wanted to too, but I actually liked the way the 3D effect that the brads give the, the trim. So anyway, I'm just going to continue to do that all the way around until I have the whole bag done. We'll do a couple more here for you so that you can see um, how this is going. So I'm just going to poke right in there. And then I'm just going to attach my brads. And we'll cover up that center area there. And I just think this is a fun and easy way to use your ribbon and your punches all at the same time. So anyway, hopefully you can see how that's looking. I love the way it's looking. And I hope you'll give it a try to decorate a store-bought bag 
with some of your Mayard's ribbon and one of your punches. Um, next, we're going to work on a card. And this is the card that I'm going to make that's going to go along with my gift bag. Um, and for those of you out there, I don't know um, how many of you, I'm sure you've all heard of Stamping Up. Um, but they had this fun stamp set um, that's actually a game, like a maze, game maze. Um, and these fun plastic game pieces that you can purchase. Um, and I had went ahead and purchased them. And I was trying to find uh, different ways to use it. So I was going through some of my stamps. Um, and I found that the Tim Holtz uh, car uh, stamp actually fits. The game piece and I thought how cool would that be to stamp that on the inside of one of these game pieces and use it for a card for Father's Day so anyway when you get these little packets you'll flip it over and you'll see it's got little divots in it and all you're gonna want to do is carefully remove that um, from the from the back of the piece and if you rip it it's okay because you can actually attach a uh, your cardstock piece that we're going to stamp on onto the inside of there. So all you're going to do is take your ink and I'm actually going to use a black uh, dye ink from Paper Tray Ink and I'm going to take my white cardstock and I'm just using a printer weight piece of paper um, and I'm just going to ink up my stamp. And I want to make sure I get full coverage. And I'm actually going to stamp this twice. I'm going to stamp it the first time. And then I'm going to stamp it another time because we're going to actually cut both of these out and use different parts of both of them for our card. So this is the image that you get. And we're going to go ahead and cut that out. And then you're going to stamp it again. And you're going to want to cut that out as well. Um, so then you're going to attach this small piece of the cardstock to the inside of your game piece and attach it back in um, to your game piece. And this is what it looks like. And I just think that turned out super, super cool. Um, you can still see all the numbers in the car. And um, then for our second piece, we're going to attach it to a piece of circle uh, cardstock that I punched using one of my punches and this ended up being about a two and a half um, inch circle. So I'm just going to glue this right down to my turquoise base and then we're going to attach the game piece right on top of this um, and we're, we're going to use um, some uh, of this uh, score tape and we're just going to attach this right to the back of our game piece. And we want to make sure that we do a couple strips here because we want this to be nice and secure. Um, and then we're just going to take the backing off. And then we're going to attach this right onto our turquoise piece, lining it up um, so that all that's showing is that outside black line. And that way you still have the whole stamped image. And then we're going to, we're starting with a, a A2 size card base. And I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges here. Um, and then I've cut two pieces of pattern paper from the My Minds, uh, the same My Minds Eye collection. Um, and we're just going to attach these right to the front of our card. I've cut a piece at two and a half inches by four and uh, three and a fourth, or three and three fourths inches wide. Sorry about that. And then we're going to attach this piece, which is three and three fourths by three and three fourths. And we're going to attach these to the base of our card. Oops, 
attach the bottom piece first. I always forget how I'm going to layer these until I get going. Okay, so we'll attach the bottom piece first. And you want to make sure that you try to line that up with the edges of your card. And then we'll attach the top piece. And then we're going to put our ribbon on here and we're going to line it up with the very bottom of this piece of decorative paper. And in order to wrap our ribbon around, we're going to make a small slit in the edge of our card. And we're just going to cut a small little slit in the edge of the card so that we can fold that ribbon right through to the inside of the card and hide it on the inside of the card. So we'll just slide this right through and then we'll attach that to the inside of the card and we'll wrap this other side around and attach that to the inside of the card. And you can always add glue, extra glue underneath the ribbon if you want. Um, and then we'll just attach this right to the front of the card. And you could um, pop this up on pop dots as well if you wanted to give it some more dimension. But anyway, there is our fun card to go along with our beautiful gift bag for your Father's Day presents. Um, and then I just wanted to share one small other tip with you. Um, I was playing around with this ribbon the other day, and this is our printed ribbon. Um, 413346 is the music. Uh, 413341 is the cute bumblebees, and then 413342 are the crowns. Um, and so I wanted to share with you guys that you could use your uh, distress markers um, or the Faber Pastel um, pit artist pins to color in the images on your uh, ribbon. Um, this turquoise down here on the crown is the artist pit pin. Um, let me zoom in here real fast and I'll show you how cool this is. Um, and I just thought this was a super, super fun idea. So anyway, I had already colored in one of the bumblebees um, and I'll color in another one here so you can see um, how easy this is. And they don't, it doesn't run um, or bleed at all, um, which I thought was super, super neat about uh, using these. Um, so anyway, you can color these and alter these in any way. Um, and I think that you could also use Glimmer Mist or any of those fun things um, and play around with all the different things that you can do to, to uh, decorate it a little bit. And then you can come in and add your black little lines to make it look more like the bumblebee. Do the legs. Um, but anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas on other ways that you can use the fun Mayard's ribbon. And I hope you will check out our blog over at mayarts.com backslash blog. Um, thanks so much and have a fabulous, fabulous week.